So 2023 was a growth year, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I think our, our company's grown a lot. A lot. Our, we grew up. We grew up. We're growing up. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is making our employees become better leaders and through from our employees up to you as well? Yeah, I think we did a way better job of listening this year as well um, through all of our growth. We had a lot more time with our clients. We spent a lot of time on the road, sure. a lot more one-on-one <laughs> -on -one time um, with a lot of those rights holders. So I think we did a really great job listening, um, but then that came back into our team as well. We did a lot of tech upgrades as well. And I think it just created a lot of excitement within yeah. our team. Um, but from a leadership perspective, um, I think all of our all of our management and directors they are they're great leaders they're great coaches, um, but they spend a lot of time with their teams and sure. they've done the job they do the job, right. and so they have a lot of empathy to the team as well. I guess one of the coolest parts of like being in a growing company, and you're taking people that are you know in their mid twenties and they they're growing up and they're becoming leaders like, could you relate like your coaching days of skiing into like how you're obviously growing new leaders in the company? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that we've given everyone is space. And okay. it's space to be creative, space to put their own spin on things. So same thing as I would do with an athlete, just give them space to grow, right? Sure. So um, we've, we've given them that space as they're growing up. We have a very young team too. So like, a lot of our team has come in here as straight out of university or college, yeah. um, but they're still with us five years later. And so we've given them a lot of autonomy and, and space to grow within the company. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. And no, uh, I know that we've had a lot of growth this year and our, mm -hmm. a lot of our clients are asking us like new questions and bigger problems we're trying to solve in the, in the platform. What do you think we need to focus on and like, not to be business jargony, but like what's the thing we want to focus on KPI side? How do you want to measure success this year? What do you, what do you think we're going to go after this year? I think we're still on reservations for travel team. Sweet. Uh, I don't think we're leaving that one anytime soon, okay. right? It's, it's maximizing what's in the system. It's maximizing all the teams that our rights holders put into the system. Um, but I think we have some great opportunities to do different things this year out in the industry. You know, we can start looking at things like dynamic rates. Yeah. Um, concept of pa uh, travel packages have come up a lot and we have a lot of connections with that. So I think we still have a lot of space to create new opportunity and really push those amazing experiences forward yeah. with, with our uh, users and our rights holders. But I think at the, the end of the day, we're still laser focused on that reservations right. for travel team and, and giving growth and scale to our, our What clients. do you think our partners want most of us in 24? Oh, it's a toss up between like new tech sure. and new things. Um, but I think they're just as focused on growth. Yeah. Um, we're still in a really weird space in the market. It's that post COVID what's happening, you know, with the economics across Canada, the U S like it's, it's a really weird, dynamic out there. Okay. Um, but I think they're still relying on us to be the industry experts when we're going out to market. Okay. So if we've grown the team this year, what's your favorite part of 23? Oh, my favorite part of 23. Yeah. What's your favorite thing that happened? Um, I'm going to go with, with our growth and growing up okay. and we hit some, some big numbers this year, which is exciting. We had a lot of growth, but for that to happen, everybody had to be working as a team yep. and it was, synergies had to take place and it was really evident that those synergies took place with all the departments everybody growing up a little bit um everybody stepping up to the plate and up to the challenges that we've had this year yeah. so i think that's one of my my favorite parts of this year so if our if our company uh tagline was we're gonna grow up this year because we hit 10 years old we did what are we gonna make it in 24. oh i'm not the marketing <laughs> expert <laughs> I, i'm operations all right um I don't even know. Okay. What's what, what would you have it be? Oh, uh, I think we're gonna go into into like the scale up phase. Is I mm, believe is probably yeah. where we'll end up. And to be like a short tagline of that. Final question: What are you most looking forward to in 24? What do you want to? What's gonna be the most fun part of 24 for you? Hmm. I think we have a lot of new. Um, with Housing Connect and some other opportunities out there, we have a lot of great new opportunities coming up in 24 to do things that we haven't done and yep. nobody has done. So I'm really excited to see what those will bring and how that will continue to grow our company and our team. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to see you grow this year. Thanks. Well done.